YouTube, it's your girl Shankira Shanae, and I am back with another video. See, I wasn't going that long. I've been meaning to make a video, but you know, whatever. But as you can see, I'm in the car. Um, me and Jaden. Say hi, Jay. Hi. Anyway, we just got some McDonald's because I was like, I might as well do a little story time and make it a mukbang. Make it a mukbang. Why not? Um. I don't really eat McDonald's. I got a chicken sandwich though. Lately, for some reason though, I've been wanting McDonald's fries, but I don't even eat McDonald's. You see what I'm saying? My hair looks crazy-ish, but we're not gonna talk about it. I made my hair done in like a week and a half, so I ain't tripping on it. Um, But we decided to get some McDonald's and come to the falls. It's a rainy, gloomy day out. So I like the rain. So we just out here chilling. So, I'm going to get the food out. Jaden just got a cheeseburger. Please don't make a mess in my car. Okay? I really could have did this at home, but I bought the stand for my um car. So, I like, I could. Oh, let me show y'all. I got a tattoo. Or another tattoo. See this? I don't know if y'all can see roses i'm gonna get my brother's name right here and his birthday and death date and stuff so this tattoo ain't done yet um debating if i want to add another rose or two. Oh, somebody out here creeping let me mind my business though Shh. let me mind my business because they both just love at the same time a man and a woman in two different cars okay so mcdonald's got these chicken sandwiches spicy chicken sandwiches hold on hold on excuse me shoot your mouth closed i don't want to hear that i hate when people smack oh my gosh and i told them extra spicy stuff but baby they put too much stomach's gonna be so up <laughs> but um ain't nothing going on with me nothing new really um <clears throat> oh my god i told them to put extra and they put a lot. <clears throat> Fuck it. We going in. We doing this. Hold on. I gotta take a bite. I'm hungry. Mmm. Lordy, just thank you for the food that I'm about to feed you. Come here. Mmm. All right. So I didn't get 20 likes on my last video, but. I'm gonna still do the story time. Cause I was supposed to do it a while ago. So I'm just gonna do it now. So I don't really nobody parked next to me. All this free parking space. And you know, like if you go to the bathroom, somebody going to start right next to you. Yeah, keep it pushing. But um we are you? Oh, you could get it, I'm not getting it. Alright, so I'm gonna do the story time about the time I went to the festival at the jail. <laughs> very, very juicy. <clears throat> okay, so, first of all, let me just start by saying, going inside of a maximum security prison, like, oh, look at the red bird. They say, like, the red birds, like the cardinals and stuff, it represents, like, somebody that passed away. That might be my brother over there. Um, but... Yeah, so going inside a maximum security prison was like the craziest thing I never thought I, I would be doing. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, things happen and it is what it is. So anyway, you know, we go there, got to get processed and whatever. So skipping ahead, the um, they have a van that comes around and gets you and take you to the back of the jail, you know, where the yard is. So basically, um, the, they have a whole bunch of different type of festivals, but this is just like a regular festival. And <clears throat> it's basically like a picnic. That's all the festival is. It's really just like a picnic. Oh my gosh. So, it's basically a picnic. <clears throat> they have food. They have drinks. All type of stuff. You know, it's a cool little vibe. Music. It's like, it's good for the inmates because it's like 
a little bit of freedom, you know, like a little normal normalcy. I just have to wear, you know, a little normalcy. And, <clears throat> and being with their loved ones, you know, a lot of prisons you can have visits outside. A lot of visits you can have. A lot of prisons you can have visits outside, but his jail, they don't do um outside visits. Why? I don't know. Uh-uh, this wildlife. Anyway, we get there. I'm just going to sum it up. So they call you in <clears throat> by fives. I tried to get there really, really early so I could be the first one in. But that's like anytime I go on a visit. So, like, the jail opens up at 9 o'clock. And I'm there by 8. So I can get my visit, have my whole full visit. It's from 9 to 3.15. And I stay there the whole visit. And, um, and, um, whatever. But on the festival days, um, you have to get there early because you have to go through, like, this hospitality center. Excuse me. And we'll check you in down there. So I had to get there by 5 in the morning because they have buses from New York City that come, you know, bring people from New York City, bring them to the jail. And it'd be bus loads. It'd be like three bus loads of them shits. You see? So I'm like, nah, F that. So as soon as I, I get there, it's already some cars there. So I might have been like the fourth person in line. Because I don't I don't play, okay? I'm getting my whole visit. I ain't drive three hours for nothing. And I want to spend time with my man. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, we get to the... Okay, I'm skipping ahead. So the first five of us, we get to the back. What the hell is this seagull doing? Anyway, so the first five of us, we get to the back. I mean, you know, we get to the, you know, we, to the yard. It's music playing. It's under a big gazebo. It's literally like a picnic at the park, like with your family. So, I kid you not. Okay, our men start coming out. This Puerto Rican lady. <laughs> now, mind you, it's nice out. So, we have on dresses. And... You know, they gotta be like a reasonable length, obviously. Everybody got on dresses, but let me explain. So, <laughs> here's how the bitch went. <laughs> All right, so the Puerto Rican lady, her dude come out. I think mine came out first. Well, they kind of came out at the same time, but not really, but like most of ours came out at, at the same time. So I'm sitting there. Oh, my, my cousin came with me because she was talking to somebody in that jail, too. So, she comes with me. So, anyway, we just sitting there waiting for our dudes to come out. And then the Puerto Rican, her lady, I mean, her husband ends up coming out. <laughs> and when I tell you, he instantly started eating it. I said, wait a minute. Jada can't hear me. He got on headphones. But I said, wait a minute. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Rewind this. What, 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 what's going on? What's going on here? Like, y'all do it. Wait a second. This is what we're doing? So I'm telling you, and mind you, there's, oh, look at the red bird. So there's officers out there. There's CEOs out there. But they like over there and we like here. So we got to be at least 20 feet away. And it's inmates kind of running the festival as well. So like the inmates are playing the music. The inmates are, um, you know, serving the food or whatever. But they don't have visitors. But they're working the festival. You see what I'm saying? So they basically be, they basically be lookouts. So anyway, dude come over, start eating there. Boom, eating. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? They behind me. I ain't even peeped though till, cause my cousin's sitting in front of me and I'm sitting here like we had a bench. And she had glasses on. She was like, like she took it, she was like, I said, I said, what? I'm scared to look. So I just do a quick, I said, I think I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> Get me out of here. So I'm like, okay, next thing you know, Maybe within like, ten, you know, obviously they got to keep stopping or whatever because the CEOs do walk over there to check check stuff out. Oh, they looking for worms. I'm like, why well, are so many motherfucking seagulls out here? Because it's raining. Duh. Um, But yeah, so next thing you know, maybe like 15 minutes later. Now, my husband's out at this point. 15 minutes later, boom, she throwing it back. He hitting it from the back. I'm like, yo. They real life full flesh fuck they getting it in out here. Like, okay. 
Okay, I see what I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. So stop. I'm just gonna fast forward. Now, I'm not gonna say if I partook in those festivities or not. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I ain't gonna say that. Cause I don't <laughs> I'm not gonna say that I did. And you know, I just I look at it like this. Your man in jail for however many years. Wow, I don't know why I just said it like that. That just pissed me off because I don't even talk like that. <laughs> I said however many years. <laughs> I don't even talk like that. <laughs> just pissed me off. But anyway, your man in there for however many years. And when you leave this festival, he's going back into that prison for those years. So, I mean, if you ain't got your trailers, you ain't got no trailers. I mean, and you know, you could do what you're going to do. Do what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Satisfy your man. And y'all just die on that. I'm a bad storyteller. I'm not even gonna hold you. Because I be trying to hit every detail knowing I don't have to. But I don't know, this is me. My husband be getting so mad. He be like, here, just get to the point. Get to the point. He's like, cause a minute I don't even wanna hear I don't care I don't care no more. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so but so I'm just gonna skip ahead. I got to a point where, you know, everybody out there. Now, I look like a whole picnic out this bitch, like, whole picnic. It got to a point where everywhere you turn, everybody was sucking, licking, hitting it from them. You know what I'm saying? All type of crazy stuff, you know? A couple people got, a couple people got caught, you know, because they, they ain't smooth, you know what I'm saying? But some of them ain't give no shits. Like, it was these Muslims, you know? And you look, these, this man banging her on a the table. Like, they got tables under the gazebo, then they got tables outside of the gazebo. He banging her. Next, you know, some officers, like, it's officers still inside the jail. And then, like, the way the yard is, like, it's windows on the jail, like, because we in the yard. But them is people's cells. So, people, like, in their cells or on a block or whatever the case is. I'm sorry, I keep touching my hair, but it's pissing me off. But it's people in their cells and, and on a block, and they can see everything. So, they see everything that's going on outside. And you know, got the nurses station, so they might call and be like, Oh, yo, they over here, da da da, da whatever. But the man, the Muslim dude, he didn't care, he was getting his by any means necessary, bro. When I tell you, this man was hitting it on the table, then they got caught, they had to stop. Next, you know, he banging her on the floor. When I tell you, banging her, I'm talking like full fledged porno shit, like porno. I'm t it was crazy, bro. It was crazy. I'm like, Yo, this can't be real. This can't be real. I'm like, All right. <laughs> All right, okay, so this is, what, this is what it is. This is what's going on. Next thing you know, everybody just doing their thing. Everybody doing their thing. Everywhere you turn. You got niggas sitting down, niggas hitting it from the back. They getting their thing. You know what I'm saying? It, porn. It was, like a, it was like a prison orgy. That's what I call it. It was a prison orgy, bro. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. And y'all probably wondering, like, yo, where the CEOs at? They was around, but like I said, you got the inmates who work in the, uh, the festival, they the lookout. Then you got people who wasn't even doing nothing at the moment. They 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 be in a lookout, you know what I'm saying? And at this festival, you could bring anybody that you put on your list. But most people know not to bring their kids because they know what goes on at that. Like, that was my first time. Jaden, that was my first time being at that festival. But basically, because I was going to be like, you know, put my put Jaden down. He was like, no, nah. he was like, Jaden can't come to this one. Because at that point... That was my husband's first festival too. Um, since he'd been in that jail. This was in twenty what is this, twenty twenty one? So that was twenty eighteen. So yeah, so my yeah, because my husband had got to that jail in twenty eighteen. So yeah. So um Yeah, bro. It was crazy. Prison orgies. But this one lady brought her kid. And everybody's talking, they're like, yo, why does this, why she bring her kid? Like, she know not to bring her kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everybody's doing what they were doing. But they had, like, you could play football and whatever. So anyway, me and my husband, whatever goes on, whatever we do, we do. <laughs> um, me and him end up getting up. So we walk, we just start walking around, you know, we just talking, walking by, and chilling. And then we go to sit down. This old lady, this the this the this the this the crazy part right here. 
this old lady comes in, right? Now, at this point, everybody's sitting down eating. So they're taking a break from the worship shit. They're taking a break. So this old lady comes in. When I say old lady, I mean, she had to be like in her 70s, maybe. No, no younger than that. She had to be in her 70s. She come in with a nice church suit, nice burgundy pants, sweatsuit. I mean, not sweatsuit, church suit. I don't know, with the jacket, the pants. She had the nice hat tilt to the side with her cane, nice wig going. I said, okay. I said, look at Grandy. I said, somebody, I said, y'all got to chill. I said, somebody grandma is here. So this dude that was next to us was like, yo, that ain't nobody. Um, Oh, my phone ran. She going to have to wait. Um, I was like, um, y'all got to chill. Somebody grandma in here. And this dude that was next to us was like, that ain't nobody grandma. That's somebody wife. I said, oh, so I'm sitting there joking. I'm like, oh, I was like, oh, well, F it then. I said, granny about to get hers too. You know what I'm saying? But I'm joking. You know what I'm saying? This old lady finna bust it open in front of all these. You know what I'm saying? She she got respect. She classy. She, you know what I'm saying? So me and my husband, girl, we walk again. Because at that point, we, whatever. So we walking. And then we stop. And then I'm leaning against the thing. And he just talked to me, you know, kissing me, whatever. To, just loving up on me. And then I was like, I said, babe, we got to walk. I said, we got to walk. He said, we just walked. I said, no. I said, babe, we got to walk. We got to walk right now. We got to go. Mm -mm. He said, why? I said, because granny about to bust it open. And I'm not trying to see it. I, I'm not trying to see it. Now, when I say granny was going to bust it open, mind you, she had on a pants suit. A pants church suit. The motherfucking skies. She must have ripped a hole, cut a hole in between where her the the vaginal area. She must have cut a hole right there, cause she hopping on. <laughs> Granny was hopping on top of her man. When I tell you, I said, "Oh my God!" I said, "Charles, I am scarred. Like, I am scarred." I said, "I am not coming to these anymore." I said, "Do not invite me. Don't put me on your list. I do not want to come." <laughs> of course, I'm gonna go. But I said, "This is crazy. Like, I am blinded by this. Like, when I've never, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I have faith in Granny too, but I'm like, yeah, her man in jail. I ain't no telling how long that man been in there. But Granny's a ride or die, and I'm, t I'm telling you that now. Granny is a ride or die. I'm trying to be like her when I grow up." Well, not really, because I don't want my man to be in jail that long, but still, like, baby, when I tell you I was scarred, <laughs> I was scarred, okay? I said, oh my gosh, Granny is busting it open, and then me and him just start cracking up. Like, we was crying, like, crying. And, um, this truck better not bother me. I keep looking around because I am very much aware of my surroundings. Ain't nobody out here but us, but I don't trust people nowadays, so. But. Anyway. The present experience was very much crazy. And, you know, I just didn't know what to expect. Like, when I went there, I didn't expect that. Okay, keep going. I didn't expect that. That really caught me by surprise. Like, just that whole situation. I mean, it was fun. It was a good. It was a good time, and all that. Because when we on a regular visit, and we're just sitting inside of the jail, inside the visitation room, they can't get up. You can only kiss. Um, once you get there and once you leave and hug and all that stuff, whatever. It's like a lot of stuff that you can't do. But when we was outside on the festival, it's like, it's normal. Like, it was cool. Like, if you get that one-on-one -on -one time, I, you can sit on, I got to sit on this lap. I got to, you know, kiss on them, all type of stuff. So it was kind of like, my, if you watching this, mind your business. <laughs> mind your business. <laughs> nah, but, um, I already told my mom about what happened there. And my mom is crazy, okay? When I told her what happened at the festival, and I was like, yeah, all these people, da, da, da. She's like, girl, you probably did something too. I was like, no, I didn't. I said, girl, I don't even, girl, what are you talking about? She gonna say, excuse me. She gonna say, 
she was like she she was like if my man was in jail huh she was like i'm mm, mm, i'm gonna throw that mm. i said ew stop <laughs> she might be mad i said that not really my mom don't care she don't got no filter mm. why are these cars riding by like right? why y'all outside on the rainy day <laughs> why is y'all outside on the rainy day don't get me talking <laughs> oh it's pouring now right now though we at the falls. I think I said that. I don't know. Um. Oh, guess I gave away where I live. <laughs> yeah, that festival was crazy, bro. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But me and my husband, we should have had trailers by now. Because we got married September 19th of 2019. And you got to be married six months before you could get trailer visits. You know, like conjugal visits and stuff we've been married longer than six months but covid hit september october november december january march march so september 19 19 that's when we got married <clears throat> so march of 2020 that made six months but covid came i got to see him like the first two weeks of march and then that's what everything shut down like the whole world shut down yeah and then i didn't see him for like five months and then jail opens back up in August. And then they closed in October, two days before I was supposed to go up there and see him because his whole jail ended up catching COVID. He even caught COVID. It was, they were all asymptomatic. But it's like, you dirty ass COs be complaining about people not wearing a mask. Or, you know, we wear our mask, obviously, but it's like, I mean, like when we're eating, not just us, anybody on a visit. When we're eating, you could take your mask off, obviously. But it's like, say if you take a bite and they stop and you say something, put your mask on. Don't make me cancel your visit. They be doing a lot of stuff, but you, you, y'all don't even got your mask on. Y'all the main ones bringing them in because they not going nowhere. So y'all the ones who brought that in there. Whatever. We ain't getting on that. But hopefully, because like I said, the visits open. Oh, y'all got to get videos now of me driving on my way. Because baby, listen, I didn't have this little car thing that I got. And I'm going to be driving up there to see my baby. Because the jail opens up on the end of the month. At the end of the month. And you know we up there as soon as it opens. Because that's our day. Because they're doing it by last names now. So you know I'm up there. And we staying for three days. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. I see my chicken fall out. Um, we only get to see him two out of them three days. So we're going to go up there the first day. Second day we don't get to see him. So I might take Jaden back up to the pet and zoo. I made a video when we went to the pet and zoo like last year, but I never posted that. But I got a new phone now, so quality is very much so better. Um, I'm sorry if I irritated y'all with that story time. I'm really bad at telling stories. Like, like I said, my husband gets so mad when I'm trying to tell him something. He's like, Kara, get to the point, bro. He's like, okay, because I don't care no more. You take it too long to get to see. He's like, you take it too long to say what you want to say. I'm like, yeah. But yeah, bro. <coughs> you should let in now, Our festival was crazy. <clears throat> we were supposed to be going to one in May. Well, next month. But I think they canceled it. It was a it was a Christian one. They have all different types of festivals. They have like a regular festival, like the one we went to. And then they have Christian festivals. Um they have a Rasta I think it's a, a Rasta 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 something festival. And um yeah. So I got another chicken sandwich, but I don't really want it. Your juice is back there. Oh, sorry. Look at me checking my surroundings. Because these cars is riding by. I don't like that. But, um, yes. I just really want to do a story time in the car. Since I got this thing. Um... Ain't nothing going on, though. 
This video already long. I'm gonna try to sum it up. And that's that. I really did. I think I did a good job telling my story because normally I would try to hit every detail, but you know, I wasn't trying to get too x rated because that fast you had to be there. You basically had to be there. But when I tell you, it was craziness. But I'm out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I got some prank videos coming. And it's gonna be a lot more videos coming for me because the jail opening back up. So I'm gonna have more stuff to talk about. Oh, excuse me. And I'm gonna be in another city. I don't know what you would call that. I think it's a city. I'm gonna be down there. So, ain't nothing to do down there neither, but, you know, whatever. I'm supposed to be going on a couple trips coming up. I love that. And I appreciate all my new subscribers. And I thank y'all for watching me and, you know, talking to me. And I, I love y'all comments. And it, it's crazy how many people can relate to me and, you know, and, be wanting my advice and stuff sometime. Mm-mm. There's a truck down there just chilling. Alright, y'all. I'm out. Because I'm finna go. Alright, I'll holler at y'all.